Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings, man. I'm excited to make this video, man. This one is about seven spirits you must avoid. I made a video, I think it was titled Seven Types of People You Must Avoid. But we got to start getting spiritual. Okay, We got to start, you know, understanding there are certain uh, spirits that are jumping in certain people. Because remember, we don't battle against flesh and blood. And we're dealing with spirits. We're dealing with the spirits behind these people. So I'm, this video is to be a spiritual edification. The seven type of spirits you must avoid. I haven't made a whiteboard video in a while. So I'm very excited to make this, guys. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'm going in. The first, the number one, guys, when it comes to seven spirits you must avoid. And this is for the people who have the Holy Spirit, okay? Let me make this very clear before I start. This is for the people who have the Holy Spirit. This is for the children of God. These are the people who are on the narrow path that not many people uh, enter in, okay? This is for y'all. All right, the number one spirit you must avoid, guys, is a spirit of the world, okay? When you're of God, okay, you, you can't be of this world, okay? You can't have fellowship with people. You can't, when I say you can't fellowship with people of the world, which means that you can't have, you can't be lukewarm. You can't be of the world and of the most high. You got to pick a side. So the people who are of the world, I, I, I could I have testimony on testimony. Every time I went back to certain friendships, certain relationships, certain people who had that spirit in them, guys, I backslided. I started go going back to my vomit, doing things that God has delivered me from. So you got to avoid the people who have the spirit in the world. And I understand that most people are of this world. So it might be hard, you know, to find friendship. You know, that's why it's important to have fellowship with other believers, because I'm telling you guys, these type of people are going to be detrimental to your walk with Christ. OK, check this out. Okay, this is in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Now we receive not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things which are freely given us to us of God. Okay, so it says we don't receive the spirit of the world. We re receive the Holy Spirit, the spirit of God. Okay, but check this out. The next verse. This is deep. This is deep, guys. This is deep. Okay, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 to 6. It says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Check this out. They are of the world, therefore they speak of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He that knoweth God hear us, and he that is not of God hear us not. Here be we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay, so greater is he that is in you. All the people who don't have the, the, the spirit of God in you, okay, God's inside you. The people who have the spirit of the world in you, that's the spirit of the world in them, sorry, is Satan's inside them, okay? The spirit of the world, remember, Satan is the God of this world, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 to 4, okay? So, so Satan is in them, the people of this world, and God is in you, the people who have, who are children of God, the people who are on the narrow path. It says, they are of the world, therefore they speak of the world, and the world hears them, okay? So us people who are children of God, the world can't hear us. The world can't comprehend this type of video or my type of videos because it's spiritual, okay? They're of the world. They can't understand, okay? And check this out. We are of God. He that knoweth God, hear us. He that is not of God, hear us not, okay? Hereby we know the spirit of truth. In the spirit of error, okay? The world can't receive the spirit of truth because it see him not, neither know him. Okay, that's in the Bible, by the way, guys. So the world can't receive the spirit of truth. I'll leave a verse right here, okay? The world cannot receive the spirit of truth because it see him not, neither know him, okay? Remember, being a part of this world, guys, being a part of this world is gonna just destroy us. You can't, you just can't, guys. Even the Bible says that love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So it clearly, God clearly lets us know that whoever has a love of the world in them, the love of God doesn't dwell within them. Okay, that's crazy. The, you know, you have everyone saying God is love, God is love, and that he is love. But when you love this world, the love of God doesn't dwell within you. Okay, so take heed. Number two is the Antichrist spirit, which is linked to lying and deceit. Okay, the Antichrist spirit lying and deceit okay we already know what the bible says about well some of us already know okay so this is 1 john chapter 4 verse uh oops my bad this is 1 john chapter 2 verse 20 uh 2 verse 22 it says who is a liar but he that denied jesus is a christ he is an antichrist that denied the father and the son so anyone guys who doesn't believe who denies jesus christ jesus is lord Okay, the son of God, anyone who denies Jesus is an antichrist. You got to avoid this type of people. Any Anybody who doesn't believe, it doesn't obey his words, his teaching, you got to avoid this type of people. I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all got to hear me. Y'all got to hear me, man. And that spirit, the antichrist spirit is linked to lying, okay, and deceit. Okay, remember, because Satan has an antichrist spirit, okay? And what does Satan do? The father of lies, and he's deceitful. He's a deceiver. That's those type of people who have the antichrist spirit okay they're, they follow the deceit they lie okay they're gonna end up betraying you that that's what it is guys i'm telling y'all 
tell you, all gonna, like I said, guys, start getting spiritual. The Antichrist spirit is real. Is real. A lot of people are thinking, or a lot of people are just waiting on one Antichrist to rise, and there will be an Antichrist you know, that will rise, but it's a spirit, and it works through people, okay? You have that spirit in your church, okay? You have Antichrist pastors, okay? You have Antichrist family members, okay? Some of y'all may be in relationships with the Antichrist spirits. It's real, guys, so you guys got to start thinking of things spiritually, okay? Number three. The number one three spirit you must avoid is the religious spirit. Okay, the religious spirit attacks the body of Christ, and is and the one thing one of the biggest things about a religious spirit they follow the, the traditions of man over their relationship with the Most High. Okay, and I want to share you guys a scripture. This is Jesus speaking in Mark chapter seven, uh, verse seven. And so it says, "How about in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines of the commandments of men? For laying aside the commandments of God, ye hold to the traditions of men as a washing of pots and cups, as many others such like the things ye do. Okay? And he said unto them, For well ye reject the commandments of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. So one thing about the religious spirit, they follow their own tradition. Okay, you have them celebrating Easter, celebrating Christmas, celebrating Halloween, all these pagan holidays. Okay, that's all traditions of man. Nowhere in the Bible it states Christmas or Easter. Jesus' birthday was not in uh, December 25th. No one on this earth knows when Jesus' birthday was, okay? And the reason why Jesus, uh, the Bible doesn't say when Jesus was born, because in the book of Job, it says, curse be the day I be born. So your birthdays are not important. And there was actually a Satanist who said that um, uh, participating in your, in your birthday is like a form of self-worship, which is a satanic ritual. Now, I don't know how true that is, but I can understand, you know, we're supposed to be denying ourselves. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with, you know, celebrating another year of life. But the problem is when you start blowing candles and all that type of stuff, that's all linked to witchcraft. You have plenty of witches you already talked about that, you know, blowing candles, all that type of stuff, traditions of men. Okay, so, and one thing about the religious spirit, a lot of people who are religious, they don't understand. Jesus' enemies were religious people. Jesus himself was not religious. He was filled with the spirit. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was set apart. That's what God calls us to be, to be holy, to be set apart. His enemies were the Pharisees, okay? Now, it wasn't just the Pharisees, but... They, the Pharisees possessed a religious spirit. They didn't follow the commandments of God, okay? Even though they knew all. And see, you got to be careful about these religious spirits because they know all the Bible, okay? They know all the scriptures, okay? Uh, they know they know all, uh, you know, they know all, all these commandments, but they don't practice what they preach. Jesus called them hypocrites. They don't practice what they preach. And you got to avoid these spirits because these type of spirits, they attack the body of Christ. And a lot of the sheeple, they don't understand because they, they look at the religious spirits and they look all holy. They give you a fair, beautiful speech, just like Jesus told us they do. Okay, they look on the outside, they look very beautiful, you know, very holy. And the sheep will just eat it up and they attack the body of Christ. They, they you know, the people who are actually uh, anointed and chosen, they attack them. Just like how the Pharisees attack Jesus. How could you attack a man like Christ? He wasn't out here beefing with nobody, you know, that's crazy. But you see, that's what the religious spirits do. So you got to be very cautious on these religious spirits. Okay, number four. Remember, guys, be set apart. Be holy. That's what we're supposed to do. You don't want to get a religious spirit. There's no need for that. This, the, also, the religious spirit is linked to self-righteousness. It's linked to pride and arrogance, which the Pharisees were. And they were deceived. And it's also linked to the kingdom of darkness. Number four, the Judas spirit. Okay, the spirit of betrayal. Okay. Oh, man, these last days, guys, God, the most high God, he's dividing the wheat and the tares. He's dividing the sheep and the goats. And these goats and these tares, these children of the saints, they're going to come, guys, and they're going to betray you. Because what did Judas do? What did Jesus say Jesus was? A devil. What are these devils, these children of the saints going to do? Betray you. They had that spirit in them, just like a saint had that spirit. Okay, Satan's going to change how to betray. Or sorry, Judas, well, it's the same thing. Judas saying, well, not the same thing, but the same spirit. Okay, it's a betrayal spirit. Okay, Jesus is about to level up. He was about to ascend. He was about to do many great things, right? And Judas, tried to, that crab in a bucket, tried to pull him back down. That's what the, the Judas spirit does. When you're about to level up, uh, oh, that Judas spirit, that Judas spirit, it doesn't only work through man. It also, it's a spirit. So it doesn't matter what gender you are, what race you are, what nationality or what religion you profess. It doesn't matter. It jumps in people, okay? Anyone who has no love for their brother, their sister, their neighbor, okay, it can use them. And it also works for people who have jealousy in their heart envy in their heart, which I'm going to talk about number seven. So beware of the Judas spirit. How can you detect the Judas spirit? Discernment, okay? And also sometimes God will allow a Judas spirit in your life because he allowed Judas to come in Jesus' life. But you understand this. The only way, um, if it wasn't for Judas, Jesus wouldn't, because Jesus was hiding, right? And Judas snitched on him. So Judas was a part of the plan. The Judas is that come in your life, guys. No one could be, uh, be if you're a true follower of Christ, you got to understand, you can't avoid the Judas spirit because the Judas was all part of Jesus' plan. 
he had to snitch on them and tell them out so, the, so it could be fulfilled. The prophecy could be fulfilled. The Judas spirit, understand this, guys. It's good. You're, you're going to attract the Judas spirit in your life. It is what it is. And remember, it's all part of the plan. And yes, it might, you know, when they, when they cast that stone, uh, when they betray you, it's going to hurt. It's going to sting. But understand that it's all part of the plan. Okay, it's all part of the plan. A guy, you know, if, if God put Judas in Jesus's life in his circle, don't be surprised if God has, a, you know, put a Judas in your circle too. understand this. OK, it was all part of the plan. It was a part of God's will in Jesus life. OK, and I know that might be hard for people to understand or to comprehend, but it was OK. Number five. Ooh, <laughs> the spirit of disobedience. OK, yes, the spirit of disobedience. Ooh. <laughs> all right, let's see what the Bible says. All right, let's see what the Bible says, man. Okay, this is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2. Got to watch out for these spirits, man. This also correlates with the spirit of the world. The spirit of the world are the disobedient people, okay? So, we're in time past. You walked according to the course of this world, or spirit of the world, okay? According to the prince of the power of the air, Satan, okay? The spirit that now work in the children of disobedience, okay? So the Antichrist spirit, the spirit of Satan, it works to the spirit of disobedience, the children of disobedience. Now check this out. This is another precept. It just came to my mind right now. All right, so this is in uh, Colossians chapter five, verse six. Okay, so it says, mortify theref therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate infections, evil conspicuous, hopefully I'm saying that right, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which these things sake, the wrath of God come upon the children of disobedience. So the wrath of God abides upon the children of disobedience. Oh, it, it awaits them. Okay, in life, you reap what you sow. When you're being disobedient, the wrath, the wrath of God, wrath of, yeah, okay. The wrath of God arrives around the children of disobedience. So you got to be careful because you put yourself in a position to be their friend, to be around these type of spirits. It could abide in you now. Because you got to be, guys, you got to be very careful who you surround yourself. If you're surrounding yourself with reprobates, you're going to become a reprobate. If you're, you're surrounding yourself with those who are in the kingdom of darkness, you're going to belong to the kingdom of darkness. There's a saying that you are the people you surround yourself with. And I can promise you that is the truth. Even the Bible says evil communications corrupt good manners. So, guys, take heed. Okay, take heed. Be wise. Number six, the Jezebel spirit. Okay, a lot of people are unaware that Jezebel was actually mentioned in the New Testament too as well. Okay, and Re Re Revelation chapter 2, verse 20, 20 to 22. Let's read this. Okay, and one thing about the Jezebel spirit, guys, it's a rebellious spirit. Okay, Je Jezebel is a re rebellious spirit, and it's not only a woman. Okay, Jezebel is a spirit that works through man and woman. But yes, Jezebel was a woman, but it's a spirit and it works through people. Okay, if a man has a Jezebel spirit in him, he's very effeminate. You could, if you're spiritual, you could see through it. Okay. Uh, not all men are Ahab. Some men are Jezebels, okay? And also with a, with a, uh, with a woman, okay? So what are some descriptions that uh, links in the Bible uh, about Jezebel? So Jezebel was rebellious. She um, had rule over her husband. Um, she was a witch. She was a narcissist, which, you know, she had demons. Narcissist, demons, same thing, okay? Uh, she painted her face, so she was uh, manipulative, you know? And this, this is a huge description. I already have a video on that, but uh, let's read this verse real quick. So it says, Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because I suffered that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat the things sacrificed unto idols. Okay, and I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and all that I commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. Okay, so so she seduces. Okay, and how does she seduce you? She puts on the makeup. She dresses a certain way, you know, very lustful, which, you know, ensnares man in. Okay, so she's as a seducing spirit on her, okay? Uh, and also she calls herself her prophetess. So Jezebel is not only a worldly person. It's also people who profess to be the body of Christ. Uh, it also profess someone who calls himself a Christian or a Hebrew. So take heed, guys. The Jezebel spirit is real. It works through man and woman. It's very rebellious, and it seeks and it lusts and it desires to destroy the children of God, okay? Take heed, take heed. Number seven is... A jealous and envious spirit, okay? This is, you know, let me, let me read this verse real quick with you guys, man. This is in Wisdom of Sol Solomon. This is in the Apocrypha, okay? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 24. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his side do find it, okay? So those who lay hold of Satan's side, they find envy. They find jealousy. And understand this, jealousy and envy was what killed uh, Abel, okay? It led Cain to be a murderer, to kill his own brother because he had the enviness and jealousy jumped inside of him, 
Okay, the self-righteousness had jumped inside him and it led to him to kill his own brother, bro. Y'all know the story Cain and Abel. So you gotta be very cautious of the jealous and envious spirit. And it's working around, guys. It's praying. It's praying like a lion. Okay, it's and that's why I made my video yesterday. I talked about how, you know, when God's blessing you, when you got plans or goals, keep it to yourself, okay? Because you don't understand that. You you telling all these people, you telling all your friends, your family, uh, your your husband, your wife, your, you know, under, don't understand that these people have a, the spirit in them, okay? They don't want, people don't want to see you win, bro. Unless they're winning, okay, yeah. But a lot of people ain't really where they want to be in life. And you, you're leveling up. You're putting in the works. You're reaping what you sow, okay? And these people, they're not, they're not, doing that so they're gonna be the spirit is gonna jump inside them jealous and envious okay and these tears they lay a hold on jealousy and envy okay so be very cautious who you're telling your plans and goals to your blessings to uh be live a private life because a lot of people have this spirit and best believe guys if you're friends with someone for a long period of time or if you hang it out with a certain person for a long period of time it's gonna manifest in them the spirit is gonna manifest in them you're gonna see it god will show you if you have any type of discernment Okay, the seven spirits you must avoid. Number one, the spirit of the world. Number two, the antichrist spirit. Number three, the religious spirit. Number four, the Judas spirit and the, the spirit of betrayal. Uh, number five is the spirit of disobedience. Number six, the Jezebel spirit. And number seven, a jealous and envious spirit. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. If you haven't already, if you made this far, guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below if I'm missing out on anything. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.